Start out with some white clay rolled out about this thick. Then you're going to need a leaf or petal shaped cookie cutter. And if you don't have one of these, you can always just use a knife to cut out that shape or make your own using aluminum such as a pie plate and just bend it into the shape. Cut out six petals. Now we're going to make sure that the petals look a bit more natural by flattening the end and making sure that there's no rough edges. Now it's time to paint the petals with our chalk pastels. So I'm going to be using this red color here and what, just gather it up on your brush and then you're just going to start painting the inside of the petal. And this may take a while, I'm using a small brush for finer details but you have to make sure that you get the color you want. Repeat to cover all your petals. Now pinch the petals in at the bottom. Now using black chalk pastel and this sort of toothpick tool, what you're going to do is just rub the tip of the tool with the black chalk pastel and then take your petal and dab the black spots onto it. You're not trying to make a hole on the leaf, you're just trying to deposit the chalk pastel on it. And repeat with all the petals, as many spots as you would like. Once the petals have the dots on them, we're going to form a flower. Start pressing the petals together in your hand and then readjust to get the perfect flower shape. Once you're happy with the way your flower looks, start to pinch the bottom of it together to secure all the petals. Now start to press the petals downward. Leave the flower just like this, or you can add stamens in the center. To make the stamens, I'm using this light gold color, but you could also use a green or a yellow. Roll out the clay to your desired thickness, and then cut it so it's about a centimeter long. For the stamens, use the needle tool to roll out a small ball on the end. Use the needle tool to place the stamens in the center of the lily.